CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.6, Given a Scenario, Configure a Workstation to Meet Best Practices for Security. Password Best Practices. Passwords serve as a primary method of authentication, but surprisingly, many individuals often overlook their significance. Some might attribute this to complacency, while others simply might not be aware of the importance. Fortunately, there are established password policies and best practices that guide users in creating robust passwords, ensuring enhanced protection for both personal and professional data in our digital landscape. First and foremost, why are good password practices so essential? Think of passwords as the keys to your digital home. Just as you wouldn't want a flimsy lock on your front door, you wouldn't want a weak password guarding your personal and professional data. Strong password practices ensure that your digital doors remain locked against potential intruders. Now, let's look into some key password policies, which are designed to fortify our digital security. To kick things off, I will start with a well-known policy, the password length policy. This policy is an uncomplicated yet vital aspect of digital security. At its essence, this policy determines the minimum and maximum number of characters that a password should contain. Picture this in terms of a physical safe. Just as a physical safe might have a combination code of varying lengths, a password has its own length criteria. The analogy runs deeper when you consider the security implications. For a physical safe, a longer combination, with more numbers or sequences to guess, naturally becomes more challenging for a thief to decipher. Similarly, in the digital realm, a longer password inherently possesses more potential combinations of characters. This increased variability makes it exponentially harder for malicious actors to guess or use brute force attack methods against your password. In close relation to password length, a password complexity policy is also common practice. This policy emphasizes the need for a diverse mix of characters in your password. It recommends using a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Such a varied composition not only ensures your password's uniqueness, but also strengthens its defense against typical hacking methods. A password with this mix is much harder for hackers to guess or breach using brute force techniques. It's also crucial to avoid using dictionary words in your password, regardless of their length. Hackers often use dictionary attacks, where they methodically test variations of common dictionary words to decipher passwords. By incorporating a variety of character types and steering clear of standard dictionary words, you substantially lower the chances of falling victim to password guessing attacks. Next, we have the password history policy. This policy's primary objective is to deter users from reusing their recent passwords. By monitoring and remembering your past passwords, the system can ensure that when you're prompted to update your password, you're guided towards crafting a new and unique one. This proactive approach to password management is designed for mitigating risks. For example, if an old password was ever compromised, ensuring it's not reused eliminates the chance of that particular password ever becomes a recurring security weak point. In a nutshell, the password history policy serves as a protective measure, encouraging users to consistently renew their passwords, thereby enhancing their overall digital security. Our next policy, the password expiration policy, complements the previously discussed password history policy by setting an expiration date on your passwords, ensuring they don't remain static for too long. This forces users to refresh their passwords at regular intervals, reducing the time a potentially compromised password can be exploited. Much like regular maintenance on machinery or software, changing your passwords regularly is essential to keeping your digital security strong. This consistent cycle of change also reduces the window of opportunity for malicious actors to exploit a possibly compromised password. Now, let's talk about the password lockout policy. Have you ever mistyped your password several times and got locked out of your account? Well, that is this policy at work. The primary purpose of the password lockout policy is to hinder unauthorized users from endlessly guessing your password. The policy works in a straightforward manner. After a set number of incorrect login attempts, the account gets locked and remains inaccessible for a certain time or until an admin unlocks it. This strategy not only stops hackers in their tracks, but also signals potential unauthorized access attempts to administrators. 
Beyond password policies, additional practices further enhance our digital security. One key practice is setting a BIOS or UEFI password. These passwords add a critical layer of security before the operating system even starts, preventing unauthorized users from accessing the system's core settings located in the BIOS or UEFI of the system. Having this type of password in place can block actions like enabling or disabling hardware components or even enabling hardware virtualization. So be sure to set up a BIOS or UEFI password if you want to ensure that only authorized individuals can make such changes. Another important practice is to change the default administrator's user account and password. Many systems, including routers and network devices, come with a default admin account and password, which are well known to attackers. Changing this default password reduces the risk of unauthorized access and adds an additional layer of defense. Lastly, we have Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA. By enabling MFA, you require users to provide not only a password but also a secondary form of authentication, like a fingerprint, facial recognition, or a code sent to their phone. This added step makes it exponentially harder for attackers to access your accounts, even if they manage to get hold of your password. Together, these password best practices work to create a robust defense against unauthorized access, protecting your personal and professional data in today's digital landscape. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.